to all my friends in Pico, I feel uh, I feel pretty bad right now. See, uh, when I first moved here a year ago, I didn't know anybody, and um, I just received a huge investment in my company, Social Dashboard, and I was told to look for an office, which I did, and I found the uh, place you know as Social Dashboard on Kiko and Sherborne. And I intended to do something with my technology company, but I really never intended to do all these events and to become so well known so quickly. And um, I certainly never ever wanted to be a public figure. Um, it's too embarrassing. I'm I'm way too imperfect. And I mean I'm the guy with the with the hole in his neck. You know, I've been divorced twice, you know, survived cancer. Recently got out of jail for a few weeks. There's Lush and Hara. There's this incident with Ms. Rahi. Did I do the right thing? Not by a lot of people's st uh, standards, but by a lot of other people's standards I did. I was totally caught in the middle. And I've seen now this horrible thing happen in social media. People are arguing back and forth accusing each other of liking to look uh, that, that they like to look at pictures of nude women to uh, being a Holocaust uh, denier if you know you happen to not immediately agree with or disagree with Rabbi Mizrahi or whatever it might be and that's made me really sad to see all of that negativity going on. And for me to be at the center of it, I got no pleasure out of the, the exposure, the attention. And it, and it came at a time when I was already dealing with a whole lot of rumors and negativity about me that's culminated over the past 10 years of being in a very, very bad marriage. And, um, and I've paid for it. Oh, God, I've paid for it. I want you to know who I am because there's so much going on with everything that's going on. I mean, my gosh, we have all these events. We did 131 events in 2015. And I did that kind of on the side, which is crazy, because I had my other company, Social Dashboard, to deal with. And I was pressured in that company to really walk away, and I'll tell you why. My ex-wife, wife number two, wants half the company. So no matter what I do, no matter how successful it is, I'm basically working for half. And then I'm fighting the original investor in the company, he wants his money back. Not for any reason, mind you. He just has buyer's remorse. And the guy lives in a $50 million house. He spent, according to what he told my ex-wife, $3 million uh, in legal fees just to make his ex-wife's life miserable. What kind of person is this? This is a litigious, very wealthy bully. And you know what? I'm being sued by him and it's really pissing him off because I'm not backing down to all of his money and being a bully. So you know by now, whether it's an individual who's worth, I don't know how many hundreds of millions of dollars, or if it's an angry mob, I stick to my values, and those values really do come not from a life of being perfect, but from a life of, I almost cannot, I almost cannot remember a time when I wasn't involved in something outrageous, whether it be a multi-million dollar deal or a multi-million dollar failure. And it's been too much. I've moved around too much. 
And uh, over the last 40 years of my life, um, I've learned a lot through making mistakes. Now, I live in, I, I'm a bald shuva, which is amazing. Completely, I had so much uh, love for Judaism, you have no idea. And uh, love for my fellow Jew, because I really believe that everybody is more perfect than I am. And I have an amazing son, a seven-year-old boy who I love very much. And an amazing community that I just really want to be part of. I don't want to be a leader of it. We've got a lot of leaders here. I'm not happy with some of the leaders. Who is? I don't make it public that I'm unhappy with them. I don't think that's right. I think I have a lot to teach. I have a lot to give. But I also just want to um, provide a place in JACLA, Jewish Activity Center of Los Angeles, where other people, other rabbis, other community leaders can come and give shears, influence their people, grow their organization, where comedians can come and entertain us in the community or um, where, you know, bands can have beautiful concerts here, whether it's Israeli or French Moroccan groups that um, Rabbi Dachan does with Torah Or, which is an amazing group, or any of the other probably 40 or 50 rabbis that I've hosted over the past year. And now the, the Shabbat Club, what an amazing thing we have with like this Jewish nightclub environment that's totally kosher. It's just cool. And everybody has a great time. And I love everybody that comes through the door. And I'm a little sad when anybody leaves. That's kind of who I am. Now, on Sundays, we have the, uh, the kids' playground, the uh, Jewish kids' indoor playground, which, of course, my son completely loves. But I wanted to provide this... I mean, wow, we have an indoor playground. What, what more is there to say? Um, and, uh, and, I w and I hope that is a success. Because being a single guy in the Jewish community, with all the craziness that surrounds me, I don't want that to get in the way of a beautiful thing happening. The kids' indoor playground is a beautiful thing. And... Uh, God willing, sometime soon I'll be married. I haven't really started dating yet, but I guess that's the first step. And uh, God willing, my future wife will want to run this with me because it's a lot of fun. And if the Jewish community lets me stay, I can promise you that uh, I'm really going to work hard to bring something very special to Pico Robertson, which as a... I have said many times, I believe is the best community, best Jewish community outside of Israel in the world. And I'm talking about the fact that we have 38 synagogues to the left and to the right of Pico Robertson. We have a higher concentration of restaurants and Jewish stores and Jewish homes and Jewish businesses than any other community that I've found outside of Israel in the world. It's very beautiful. And I hope to provide something that enriches, that enriches the, uh, the community and, and doesn't... I just, I just want to do my best. And I hope that, that I do, and that you guys have a good time. Anyways, thank you for lis listening to this almost 10-minute blabber by myself. I'm sorry to take up so much of your time.